Hey y'all, so I told you I was gonna be back again with another Gel X video, and today I'm gonna be using these Gel X tips from Apray. So first thing you want to do is make sure that your nails are fitting from sidewall to sidewall. I show you how they fit here. This is the perfect fit for my thumb. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that off to the side and continue on to the next nail. So for some of these, I am in between sizes, but in those cases, I would opt to go for the bigger size because it's just better to go for bigger sizes if you are in between sizes. Next thing I'm showing you here, I don't think I've ever mentioned this before while doing my Gel X videos, but I always have a bit of acetone set off to the side in case I need to clean up. This is the easiest way for me to clean up any gel that might have spilled out on the sides and just to make sure everything looks really clean. Next, I'm going in with my primer and my dehydrator. I always forget what order to put these in, so I literally had to sharpie it onto my nail products just so I would remember and not have to read the back of the bottle. Here's my favorite peel off base coat. It's from Gooi. And what I do is I make sure to put this on after my prep and dehydrator so that I can easily pop off the nail set whenever I want. The really cool thing about this product is I can either leave my nails on for like a day if I want and then pop them off that same day, or I can leave it on for weeks at a time. It just depends on how thick of a layer I do of my peel off base coat. So I wasn't planning on keeping these nails on for a long period of time. So I applied it kind of thick, that way I can pop it off easier. And I ended up popping these off like the next day. If you want your nails to actually last a long time, you do not need a peel off base coat. That's just so that it's easier to take off, okay? Great. Next thing I'm going in with my McCart 3-in-1 nail glue. This is a new purchase of mine. I actually got it on Amazon a couple days ago because I was out of my normal nail glue and it worked out pretty great. So what you see me doing here is adding a bit of nail glue to the nail tip and then applying it on my nail at a 45 degree angle, I think. And then after I'm satisfied with the position that it's in, I go in with my McCart Flash Cure Lamp and Flash Cure it for about 30 seconds or so. Flash curing is only so that the nail actually stays in place. And then after I was done with all of my nails, I went under my big lamp and cured for a full 60 seconds. After all of that is done and my nail tips are looking great, I like to go in with another base coat. This is from McCart and using that on the nail tips. This part is pretty easy. Just apply it all over the nail and after you're done, cure it for 60 seconds and then go to your next color. Next color is from Moro Van. It's the G1443 color. I got it from Amazon. By the way, I have a list of products on my Amazon storefront. So if you guys are curious about what products I like, I have it listed all below. I have a ton of different jelly colors from Moro Van because I think they're gorgeous. Also from Gooi, I love their jelly colors as well. Only did one coat of the jelly black color on that one nail. And then for the purple nails, I did two coats of the jelly purple. And then the clear nails just have top coat and base coat on them. I got this chrome powder in a set of 15 from Amazon. I believe this is number 15. They don't actually have names. And that's what that looks like. I did this thumb off camera because I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out. But I'm using the McCart Mirror Shine Gel and a very, very thin painting nail brush and just kind of freehanded a design. The best way I can explain this is swoops and circles. Um, I, I cannot tell you how I came up with this. It's literally just random squiggles and shapes. Uh, so yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I did. The best thing I can say is get an inspo pick and then just work off of that. That's what that looks like. I think it's really cute. And next we're going in with the McCart rhinestone glue. I'm going to be using this to create some 3D nail art on my pinky on the black jelly nail. All I did was dip my brush into it, roll it around a couple times, and then make this half circle. And I'll do a close up here so you can see it. But that's all I did. Super simple, really easy, great for beginners, but it looks really cool and looks like you put a lot of effort into it. I think it looks really cool. And here's another close up if you weren't quite sure how I did it. So I just got a really long nail brush and dipped it into my McCart rhinestone glue. And literally just, I just glided it over my nail and it made this shape and I cured it and it stayed like that. And it's so pretty. Here's another close up of the final nail here. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think this was really easy and simple to do. I think beginners could easily do this nail design. It does not take much. You don't even need charms. You literally just need like colored gels 
and that's it. Like you don't even need the silver. You could use any color in place of silver and it still would look really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.